Good day, students. It's nice to be back. I am your teacher and help for teacher Eileen. Today, we will continue our topic last quarter. Since we discussed already the guidelines before typhoon, storm, fire, and flood, let's have a topic safety guidelines during disasters and other emergency situations. Specifically, landslide, volcanic eruption, earthquake, and tsunami. With a learning target, describes appropriate safety measures during special events or situations that may put people at risk. Are you ready? We will start right away. We will discuss the first emergency situation. Landslide Continuous rain can lead to landslide in places close to higher areas. These are the safety guidelines during landslide. Number one, you get familiar with your place. Check if there is a landslide hazard. Number two, create and practice an evacuation plan with your family. Number three, gather supplies in case of evacuation, such as food, water, flashlight, battery-powered radio, and others. Number four, if you suspect landslide danger, evacuate immediately. Listen to unusual sounds that might indicate falling debris. Be alert at all times. Number five, after the landslide, stay away from the slide areas. There are many danger of additional slides. Number six, ask adult to check for injured or trap persons near the slides help neighbors with infants small kids elderly people and people with disabilities number seven listen to local radio or television stations for the latest emergency informations for more information kindly watch the video after this Let's proceed to volcanic eruption. It can be explosive or non-explosive. An explosive eruption is compared to an atomic bomb with thick clouds of ashes. Ashfall can be very dangerous to humans, animals, equipments, and even engines. 
it, it can give you pulmonary respiratory diseases if inhaled over a prolonged period. A non-explosive eruption, on the other hand, is a quiet effusion of lava. These are some tips on what to do before, during, and after the ash fall. Number 1. Stay calm. Cover your nose and mouth with a clean cloth or gas mask. Number 2. Listen to the radio on the updates or developments regarding the volcanic eruption. Number 3. Close the windows and doors of your house or car. Keep your foods in closed containers and cover your water containers to avoid contamination with ash. And number 4. After the eruption, ask an adult to clean the roof and gutter of your house to prevent corrosion. Shake loose ash from the plants before watering them. Use powder detergents and washing clothes contaminated with ash. For more information, kindly watch the video after this. In this video, you'll learn how to react when faced with a volcanic eruption. If you're in an area where a volcano is likely to become active, or where an active volcano may erupt, you should find out about the advice provided by local authorities. Ensure you know possible evacuation locations. Prepare an emergency disaster kit. Do not go near the volcano. Should a volcanic eruption take place near to where you are? If the air has too much gas or dust, breathe through a damp cloth. Listen to the safety advice given on the radio. Leave the affected area, go to a sheltered safe area, or to the meeting or evacuation points. Do not take refuge at the bottom of valleys or in basements. At this juncture, we will tackle about earthquake. Earthquake is also one of the major problems of the Philippines during 2020s, especially in most areas of Metro Manila, even in Mindanao. In order to stay safe and alive, it is important to learn some guidelines before, during, and after an earthquake attack. Let us learn some guidelines before earthquake. Number 1. Determine if your site is along an active fault line. The key to disaster prevention is planning to prepare your work of place and residence in the event. Most causes of injuries during earthquakes are the falling objects. Heavy materials should be kept in the lower shelves. Number 2. Have an earthquake deal at school or workplace. Practice the drop or duck cover and hold lines during an earthquake protect yourself from falling debris by bracing yourself in a doorway or getting under a sturdy desk or table do the duck cover and hold number one if you are inside an old building Take the fastest and safest way out. Number two, help reduce the numbers of casualties by not entering partially damaged buildings. Strong aftershocks may cause this to collapse. Number three, gather information and disaster prevention instructions from battery operated radios. And number four, check your surroundings. Ask an adult to clean up chemicals or flammable materials to avoid fire and also check electrical wirings. Last but not the least, in case you evacuate, take with you your earthquake survival kit, which should contain the necessary things for your protection and comfort. 
For more information, kindly watch the video after this. Next, Tsunami. A tsunami is generated by earthquakes, undersea landslides, volcanic eruptions, explosions, or meteorites. These travel great distances sometimes across entire oceans affecting vast length of coastal land. Here are the safety guidelines number one. Conduct a tsunami drill in possible places. Residents of a coastal community will need to practice what they will do in the event of a tsunami. Number two, look for tsunami signages. There are the large signs used to mark high tsunami hazard and routes to designated evacuation center. Number three, be aware of the tsunami warning system. Know the appropriate warning system procedure for the community to follow. Example, church, bell, and siren. For more information, kindly watch the video after this. In this video, you'll learn how to prepare for a tsunami and what to do if one occurs. If you notice a tremor or the sudden recession of the sea and you're on the beach or the coast, move to high ground either on foot or by car. If you're at home, you only have a few minutes to get to safety. Go rapidly inland to higher ground. Stay away from rivers that flow into the ocean and from the beach and the coast. Wait until at least one hour has passed since the tsunami before returning home. Do not touch fallen power lines. Follow safety advice broadcast on the radio by authorities. Do not go to school to pick up your children. Teachers are trained to deal with disaster situations. If the authorities warn you that a tsunami is approaching, seek shelter in a safe place. If you have to leave your home, unplug all household appliances and turn off the water and electricity at the mains. Take any important documents with you. Have your disaster kit and first aid kit ready. Follow the instructions broadcast by the radio by the authorities. Do not wait until the last minute when the evacuation order is given. For your activity entitled Making My Evacuation Plan at Home, follow safety guidelines and draw a layout of your evacuation plan at home. And at the back of your paper, 
infer what will happen if everybody is aware of disaster preparedness. Are you ready? You may now start and good luck! Hopefully, you learned something about the safety guidelines during emergency situations. Stay safe, students! I am your teacher, Teacher Eileen, saying thank you for listening and goodbye!